first time in history where uh, the globe is really one country in a sense, that we are now interdependent and therefore on the agenda stays problem not of a building of a nation state, not building of a local community of any sort, but of building a community of humanity. It's unavoidable. And I think that uh, people in the 21st century will have to face this problem. We have multiplied, we humanity on the planet, the connections, the relationships, the interdependencies, the communication spread all over the globe. We are now in a position that we are all dependent on each other. For a long, long time yet, it will be very difficult to decide what in 20th century was the most important, lasting, lasting durable uh, heritage for the coming generations. So many things happened in 20th century and it's very early to decide which one of them will prove the most seminal, the most consequential. It was the times of extremities, like big totalitarian systems too, uh, different yet uh, in very many respects similar to each other, Nazism, uh, Communism. There was a lot of uh, ethnic hatred and uh, age of genocides, very widespread, not only uh, Holocaust. Uh, what happened in 20th century was passage from the whole era, from society of producers to society of consumers. On the other hand, you had the processes of fragmentation of human life. All the two things, I can say, they are really irreversible. One thing is that uh, we have multiplied the connections, the relationships, the interdependencies. The second issue is that after 300 years, roughly, of modern history, when our ancestors decided to uh, take over nature, under human management and uh, thus hoped that they will make uh, nature absolutely um, obedient to human needs and uh, there will be full control over what's happening in the world. Now that came to an end because in the result of our own successes and our ancestors' successes, development of modern technology, of uh, efficiency of the ability to produce more and more and more, uh, rich for all sorts of uh, natural resources of the planet and so on. In the result of all this tremendous success of science and sociology, we came very closer, very close to what we now understand are the limits of endurability of the planet. Thank you.